this year the show shows a lot of uh, demonstrations on 5G. It's really bringing it to life, what it means to the user. Um, here in Innovation City, for example, we have a beehive that is connected with sensors for temperature and humidity uh, to make sure that um, farmers can control beehives even if they're in remote locations. We have an AI smart uh, driving um, application. Uh, and, and most importantly, I think we're showing that it's not just about video, but about all the things that are going to come together, like mobile identity, uh, in order to enable a, a future that is secure and enables differentiation of services. So let me tell you a little bit more about what it means uh, to the user. Um, 5G will absolutely enable a faster video and um, more uh, less latency and more quality of video. So when it comes to smart uh, cars, for example, we have here a great demonstration of a company that does cloud-based mapping, so you can uh, do infrastructure projects and plan, um, um, have a plan of a city uh, in a way that it will enable uh, smart driving, smart cars, maybe driveless cars in the future. Uh, we also have um, quite a few things in the show floor uh, that uh, you'll see what, what it means for the user, like live sports. Um, 5G will enable you to be able to, to have live sports in a totally different experience. Um, another area that is uh, quite of interest uh, is uh, remote surgery. I know it seems very out uh, in the future, but we have loads of locations where we don't have doctors that are able to do certain surgeries. So if we enable uh, some of the machines that you have today that are controlled by doctors at a distance, low latency is definitely going to enable that. I'm also quite excited that we're demonstrating here a great step into security and enabling uh, digital authentication in the future. Um, the GSMA has been working with carriers worldwide to deploy a common way, a common API for mobile identity. And the US uh, carriers announced yesterday that they would have here a demonstration of the product they would intend to launch. It enables you to eliminate usernames and passwords and be able to use your phone to authenticate when you're um, joining a social app, uh, joining um, uh, e-commerce platform, making a purchase, um, authenticating yourself into your enterprise system, uh, all of those things that today most people have an Excel spreadsheet or a notebook that has 90 something passwords will be able to be managed from one simple smartphone app in the future.